Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add a button to your page with the help of Jet Elements plugin for Elementor. So, you type in the word button, and the button you need will look a little different from the default button that you have in Elementor. It will look like that. You grab it and you drop it onto a new section. And you get a basic style preset right away. First off, you can add the text, the icon, and the link to this button. If you don't want any icon, you can easily remove it from here. And on hover, you have a little different content on the button. It can be different icon and different text. Then let's go to settings. The hover effect is simply an animation effect that is triggered once you hover over the button. And the sides of your button will change each other with this animation effect. So here you can enable or disable the icon at all. Here it goes, no icon with one simple option. And here if you decided to use the icon, you can change the icon position. So left, top, right or bottom. So here in the style tab, you have the settings for every single element of this button, such as general, which allows you to set the custom size for the button. So you can make it that big. Here, you choose the alignment for the button on the layout. You set the margin. On the plane tab, you can change everything about the background of this button. As you see, you can even set the image background for it. But we'll go with the color only. Here it goes. And you can also change the body type and the border radius. And add the box shadow. Here we have the settings for the icon, such as color, size, icon box width, and icon box height. So icon box is just the background for your icon. Like so. Here we go, and then goes the label, which is just the text that you've got in your button. The color, typography, margin, and the alignment. So here it goes. This is our button that we have created with the help of Jet Elements plugin for Elementor. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial useful, check out for more on our YouTube channel.